Hi Brad of Silver Lining Daydreams. Today in this video we're going to start our RV renovation. We're going to start in a bathroom where we're going to paint our walls white. We're going to start by briefly showing you our bathroom, explaining some of our plans, demoing it, and then painting the walls white. Along the way we're going to give you some of our thoughts concerning paint choice, prep, and painting the walls. Let's get started. Definitely need to replace the faucet. There's just too much, too hard to get that thing on and off. Especially when you're trying to save water. Want to put in a butcher block counter. If I can find a residential sink that's like clearanced out, I might buy it. Medicine cabinet's going to go so we can fit when we brush our teeth. Get ready. And this wall that the cabinet's on and this wall will get wallpapered. And then all these skinny little walls, everything else around here will get painted white. And the cabinet will get painted navy. And we're going to build in here a wood backing and the toilet paper roll is going to get moved in here. So th this door will not go back on, but this other door will. There's just not a good place in here to put the toilet paper. And when the grandbabes use the toilet paper roll, they have to stand up, reach for it. Oops. Just have to do it by hand. Make sure I don't drop these. Oh, the clip is on the side. Whoop! That's one of the things about working in a small space. I just turned the shower faucet on and I got a little wet. In the pocket it goes. There we go. We got it now. By the way, I hope my legs don't lock up doing this. I've actually had both legs lock up before and that really hurts. This shouldn't be rocket science. So my cell phone went dead. I was filming with that. We bought a GoPro. It has a little bit of a learning curve. Oh, that should come out. Yep, that came off. And that's what I'm using here, but I'm still figuring out how to use the thing. So now I have to get these fittings off so that the faucet will come off. There we go. Come out. It might be a caulk seal to break. There is a seal to break, but I forgot to do the plumbing. All right, how do you come off? What do we got here? Yeah, the seal needs to be broke. I think I can just pop it off. I don't know if you can see this. It's still kind of wet, like putty. Should have put something like a rag down here. I forgot. All right, we'll get that outside. Sink, everything's plastic. The drain. That's what I was talking about. This is still damp. So I think that's some sort of putty. Let's just take a look at this sink. So yeah, it's super light. I mean, it's like a feather. They're cheap, but in all fairness to the RV industry, they got to keep these RVs light. So I have no idea what's keeping this countertop on the cabinet. I've never pulled one of these off, so I don't know. When I take this off, am I going to smash up the cabinet? If I do, I'd probably repair it. I'm going to keep the same cab. Yeah, here we go. So it's loose here a little bit, but will it just break? That's okay, because I can still use this as a template. That's my goal. And I got a battery. This. Oh! That's what I was afraid of. Bring it down, baby. Oh, that's what they did. All right, guys, that's what they did. They nailed it. There's a little piece of trim on the inside. Basically, it's blocked. That's what's keeping it on. And those are staples, I believe. Yeah, staples. <laughs> I should have taken those screws out first. All right, so that's six screws out. I don't see anything else, but it's sticking on the wall. I don't know if there's staples coming this way or if there's adhesive. Oh, those turkeys. Screwed in from the outside wall into the medicine cabinet, and then that's covered on the outside with the um, shell. Maybe if I support the wall and pull. There we go. I forgot the sanding block. This is going to be covered up by a mirror, probably. I think we'll just mound it and then sand it and try that. I forgot my drywall knife and my sanding block.
I like to put everything in a ziplock. Pull this piece of wood with the staples off. This is going to break with it. So it may be better just to kind of pound them down because this blocking actually sits a little bit lower than this. Just a little bit of water. Kind of wipe the wall a little bit before I put primer on it thousand dollar question what type of primer is best hear me out on this one probably oil based but we refuse to paint with an oil based primer for reasons which I'm not going to go into I'm not going to tell you which type of primer is best I'm going to tell you what we used and hopefully give you some information to help you decide what to do so looking at all the information doing a lot of research out there people really have mixed results with priming and then painting their RV walls and I think a lot of it has to do with the quality of the paint the prep work we use Zinzer's Bullseye 123 water-based paint or acrylic paint. It's an interior exterior grade. It's made by Rust-Oleum. Another popular one out there is called Gripper. Rust-Oleum makes these charts for which primer to use, which is very helpful in most applications, but for the RV, I found this not to be helpful. I did go online and do some research, and I did find that Rust-Oleum, a couple years ago, it's in a thread in the RV forum, they did state that they don't recommend using a water-based primer over the wallpaper. The thought is, is that it can reactivate the adhesive. So we're thinking of using the butcher block here. And this is just an extra shelf, a scrap. We didn't use this third shelf in our bathroom, in our home. I'm gonna use this just as a template. And I'll go a little bit higher, I think. Put a little caulk there. This trim piece is like cardboard. In RV forums on the internet that I've read, people have had mixed results when using water-based primers directly onto wallpaper. Some state that it has worked very well for them if the wallpaper is tightly adhered to the wall, especially at the seams. They suggest not applying it thick to the seams or to loose peeling wallpaper or it can pucker or loosen up or peel. In other words, apply your first coat of primer very thin. Cheap. I'm probably going to go to Sherman Williams and get some foam rollers before I do the vanity. I don't like the way this rolls. That'll be covered. Decided to paint the inside. Why not? It's all open. Just for kicks, let's see what this looks like. Maybe the silicone will stick better to that, I don't know. Whoa. Some prepare the walls by lightly sanding or using a sanding sponge or distressing with a scrubby of some kind, but not going crazy with this, just giving it more of a scuff up, then thoroughly cleaning it and rinsing off any residue. Zinzer says that this primer dries in an hour it can be repainted, but they do mention for best results waiting 24 hours between painting over. They actually on the can say full adhesion and hardness develops in 7 days. So we prime the walls, we waited 24 hours, and then we put a second coat of primer on the walls. This bathroom is the guinea pig room to help us better plan what to do with the rest of the RV. I did not sand or scrub anything in here, we just wiped it clean. I did sand both sides of the cabinet door. For the top coat, we did use Sherman Williams Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel Interior Exterior Paint. It's a semi-gloss. It's the High Hide White, their newer version, which is supposed to have more white pigment in it. All right, so that's the second top coat. Wow, it just shows every imperfection. Should have done a lot better job there, but this is gonna be covered up with a mirror. We're good there. We might see a little bit here on this wall. second top coat of trim in some areas like around the door. Let's see if I painted there too as well. Please subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications. That way every time we upload a video concerning this RV renovation, you're notified. As you can see, painting these RV walls white really opens up the space, brightens it up, and just gives it a more modern, clean look. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.